Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the S Grid node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and uh, we've already got a little shape render set up to our media out. So let's go ahead and grab an ellipse. So a shape ellipse node. We're going to bring that in. Then we're going to grab an S Grid node. And we're going to input our ellipse into our grid and our grid into our render. And uh, our ellipses are huge, so let's go ahead and resize it. So you can already see what our uh, little grid is doing there. So basically, our grid node is creating grids on the X and Y axis and giving us the ability to offset that. So we can create more. We can offset them. Say, let's just go to 0.1 and 0.1. So it's nice and even. We can uh, increase how many uh, ellipses we have on the X and how many we have on the Y to fill in. And that is it. That is all the, the shape grid node does is it allows you to uh, input information like that. Now we can also bring in a rectangle we can bring in a shape merge and we can bring in our rectangle and our ellipse and we can put those on the grid and let's change the size of our little rectangle here and we can merge shapes if we need to, as well as any uh, Boolean operations or anything before this grid node will take. So let's get rid of those and input. And since this video was so short, let's uh, see some other workflows that we can use with this and uh, incorporate it into some other stuff we've already learned. So let's go ahead and bring in a camera 3D Emerge 3D, Render 3D, and uh, let's grab a spotlight. In our render, let's make sure we select lighting and shadows so we see what's going on. And let's connect all these up and bring in our spotlight. And to be able to use this grid within our 3D world, if you remember right, we had the extrude node. So let's go ahead and bring in an extrude 3D node and we're going to add that. And the beauty about our shapes is it's kind of built for this extrude node. So we don't even need our render. We can get rid of that render. Let's go ahead and input our 3D render. And we can go from our grid straight to our extrude node and our extrude node into our merge. If I go to an our extrude and I bring it back so we can see it, minus four, we're uh, seeing our little node. Let's go ahead and uh, adjust our spotlight. Let's bring that back to minus two and rotate it minus 90 so it's shining down and let's bring it up. Let's bring our little extrude node back up to uh, where it's in the light. And let's rotate it on, oops, on the Y. And now if we go to, uh, actually let's add an ambient light as well. We can get a little more light in there. And then we can go out on our extrude node and under our controls, we can change our extrusion depth. So now you can see we've got little 3D uh, shapes going on. And we can change the bevel if we want, but we're going to leave it. And let's uh, change our subdivisions up so we get a little smoother. 
Now, anything we do within our shape area is going to be applied to our extrude node. So we could bring in an S Boolean and we're going to input our shape and let's bring in a shape star node. We're going to input that into our background of our Boolean. And let's go ahead and see what we're getting here. So now we can go to our star node. We can change the amount of uh, points. We can bring that in. And, uh, let's point that up. And let's go ahead and bring in a transform node. So a shape transform. And we're going to add that before our extrude 3D. And we can go to the beginning. And we can change our rotation. So now we have a uh, complex 3D model created with our little shape nodes using our grid and other shape nodes into the extrude 3D node in our 3D environment. So we can go here, override the diffuse material. We can add a color and we can change our specular. So it's a little shinier, a little flashy there. And there we go. That is uh, the shape grid being fed into a 3D system to create a complex shape. So I will see you in the next note breakdown.